What's up everybody, I am Mike and this is another custom doll. You may also call it an action figure, I just think doll sounds more fun to say. Maria Hill is probably one of the more obscure and lesser known characters out of the Marvel Cinematic Universe, but nevertheless I thought she'd be a great character to work on. She also appeared on Marvel's Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. and we saw her a couple of times in Captain America the Winter Soldier and of course in Avengers Age of Ultron. What I like most about her is the fact that Tony Stark pretty much puts her in charge regarding S.H.I.E.L.D. but I still wish they'd develop her character further. So about the figure, I had to remove the original paint before adding a new paint job and for the record I've never really used an airbrush even though I'd really like to at some point but I still love using old school brushes. Female head sculpts are by far one of the biggest challenges and I don't envy the people that also give it a try. Stoic and emotionless characters lend themselves to sculpting a bit better and sometimes as a result having to capture a sincere emotion in a head sculpt can be difficult, let alone painting it. Nevertheless, I always want to try to step out of my comfort zone and I still believe compared to several other head sculpts of Scarlett Johansson, this version of Kobe Smolder still holds up. If you would like to see me actually paint a head sculpt, why not drop a comment down below. If that is something you'd like to see, I'll figure out how to properly shoot it. For her outfit, I went with dark pants, a black shirt and a bright red leather jacket that reflects nicely on the white background. When I begin to paint, I usually start with lips and from there I can apply the rest of the skin and finish by adding eyes and hair. With Maria, I also applied a thin layer of gloss varnish on her eyes and lips to give them a more natural look. In order to get a realistic skin tone, I use soft oil-free pastels. After scratching the paint down to a soft powder, I can apply it to the surface similar to makeup and create the illusion of layered and translucent skin. In order to get the eyes just right, I used acrylics mixed in with pastels and heavily watered down shades of red to paint the veins on her eyes. Whenever I film, I try to be somewhere between 100 and 300 mm focal length with a telephoto lens. This creates softer edges with a clear focus on the eyes and face. Anything below 50 only has the risk of image distortion and the only thing you'll see me adjust in post is some minor white balance and color grading to make her look like she also looks in my hand. I want to give you a full view of the head sculpt and for that I also switch up the lighting every now and then because different lights also create a different look. I wouldn't exactly consider myself a gun nut but I do enjoy the design of the Steyr Arc ballpup rifle. So I hope I'm not reinforcing any gender roles by giving a female character a smaller gun. I just really like the design and it's also been used by the governor on The Walking Dead quite a bit. I also really never got into the obsession some people have with guns, but then again I make toys so who am I to judge? Collect whatever makes you happy. With that said, yes even someone like me who doesn't really ever want to have to own a gun can admit that this rifle has quite a slick design. I am 5'7", so at the very least I'd be able to hold it properly when I accidentally shoot myself in the foot. I hope you enjoyed this, like and subscribe if you do, comment down below what you wanna see me do next or what I should improve, I'll be back soon with another figure, remember to check out my site, the link is down below, you'll also find tons of images and links for DeviantArt, Figure Realm and ArtStation. And my shop on Etsy, if you ever feel like getting a unique and crazy gift idea for a friend. Thank you again for tuning in and remember as always, it's just painted plastic.